Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Al Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser delivered the following statement. His Majesty praised the historic brotherly visit of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud to Bahrain on Thursday. His Majesty the King, the people of Bahrain and its government welcomed the Saudi monarch's visit, which reflect the deep historic relations between the two kingdoms and their leaders, as well as the continuous coordination on various regional issues. His Majesty briefed the cabinet on the content of the discussions with the custodian of the two holy mosques during the visit, which reflect the positive signs of enhancing the distinguished cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. He praised the prominent position of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud at both the regional and international levels and its role in facing multiple challenges that threaten Arab and regional security. His Majesty briefed the cabinet with the results of the talks held by the two leaders regarding the brotherly relations and bilateral cooperation and means of achieving joint interests, as well as a number of regional topics. His Majesty also hailed the role of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in supporting Bahrain. He then asserted the importance of the Bahraini-Saudi Coordination Council within the framework of distinguished bilateral relations on various levels, which reflect the importance of following up on the phases of the joint projects between the two countries, which include economic, political, investment and military projects. His Majesty welcomed the Saudi monarch's government approval of creating the Bahraini-Saudi Coordination Council, noting the role of this council as an example of the cooperation and relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. His Majesty followed up on the executive status of a number of projects and cooperation agreements between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia concerning the economic, energy, commercial and investment fields. His Majesty was then briefed on the development phases of the water link between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia project and reviewed the developments of the King Hamad Bridge project, which will link between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, support the cooperation between the two countries and facilitate the transportation of citizens across the two countries. His Majesty reviewed the railway project, which aims to connect the two countries and then directed to continue developing the movement flow on the King Fahad Causeway and facilitate the entry and exit of citizens, keeping up with the visitors' increasing pace for the causeway until the completion of the King Hamad Bridge in coordination with Saudi Arabia. His Majesty then reviewed a number of national topics. He praised Bahrain's gains, including the awareness of its people and its experienced government, which helped promote Bahrain's current status. He also issued a royal directive not to burden the citizens with further commitments and to continue to find other alternatives to help overcome challenges. He praised the efforts of the government and its initiatives in adopting programs which support His Majesty's direction. His Majesty stressed on the importance of continuing to support the youth and praised their spirit and positive influence enthusiasm of the representative council towards Bahrain's interests and their awareness of the challenges facing Bahrain. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the role of the Council in defending the citizen and the country. His Majesty expressed thanks for the government's role and efforts, headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in the various political, economic and social developments. His Majesty also followed up on the recent developments on Bahrain's oil exploration activities in the country. He reviewed the results of communicating with large international companies in the field of oil and the cooperation with those companies in the field of oil and gas through the report presented by the Minister of Oil. His Majesty expressed satisfaction with the growth in sport, tourism, culture and other events and the latest of which was the success achieved by Bahrain in its organization of the Formula One races which witnessed a large turnout. On the occasion of the coming of the holy month of Ramadan, His Majesty prayed to Allah to make this month a 
month of blessings for the kingdom and the Islamic nation and to strengthen the communication which distinguishes this holy month. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty the King's support for the government and keenness on promoting the joint government projects with brotherly countries, which has a distinguished role in developing bilateral cooperation, affirming that ministries will be directed to have reports to the Cabinet regarding the executive status of joint projects with Saudi Arabia. He noted that these projects have the government's top priority and is keen on reflecting the distinguished relations between the two countries through the cooperation on these projects. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the royal praise of His Majesty the King on the role of the government, affirming its keenness on implementing the royal directives of His Majesty to not burden the citizens with further commitments by devising more solutions and adopting priority programs which support Bahrain's ability to meet financial challenges. Under the patronage of the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, the concluding ceremony of the joint exercise Iron Bridge was held, which was carried out by a number of BDF weapons and units to assess the speed and level of response and methods used in raising the level of combat and administrative readiness. At the beginning of the exercise, the BDF Commander-in-Chief listened to a speech delivered by the Commander of the Exercise, Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. في التخطيط المشترك وفي التنفيذ وتبادل الخبرات ما بين الوحدات المشاركة. سيدي تم جدولة هذا التمرين ليكون من الأنشطة التدريبية من ضمن مرحلة التدريب الإجمالي والمشترك حسب توجيه التدريب الصادر من القيادة العامة لقوة دفاع البحرين. فقد بنيت الخطط التدريبية على التدرج في التدريب فبعدما تم التدريب على المستوى الفردي ثم الحظائر والفصائل اليوم يتم التدريب على مستوى فريق قتال يشمل ثلاث صنوف مختلفة سيدي إن الأحداث المتسارعة التي تشهدها المنطقة يتطلب العمل الجماعي والمشترك القادر على تحقيق الأهداف بكل كفاءة واقتدار ويأتي هذا من خلال المواظبة على التمارين المشتركة للوصول إلى أعلى درجات الجاهزية القتالية سيدي تم تنفيذ عملية البرق على أربع مراحل كالتالي then Captain Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa gave a briefing on one of the stages of the exercise مرحلة الثانية وهي وصول القوات وتطهير قوات العدو المتواجدة في المنطقة المرحلة الثالثة تم تدريب المجموعة المشاركة على مواضيع الأمن الداخلي والدوريات المرحلة الرابعة تنفيذ الهجوم النهائي من قبل فريق القتال المكون من الوحدات المشاركة على قوات العدو وتدميره تنفيذ and Captain Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa gave a briefing on the stages of implementation of the exercise. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa was briefed on the stages of the implementation of the exercise that achieved the desired objective through cooperation between the participating forces, which included joint training and tactical exercises, which is part of the plans to develop combat readiness to accommodate the requirements of joint military action between the different types of combat for its importance in raising the level of military efficiency and improve combat readiness. He pointed out that the field 
field training is an essential criterion for testing, for testing the efficiency of weapons and units, and for assessing the capabilities of different types of combat in joint work. He added that the BDF continues to develop all means of preparation and training in accordance with the modern military requirements based on the latest contemporary scientific and military theories. The commander-in-chief expressed appreciation for the meticulous implementation of all participating forces in the exercise. He also expressed thanks and appreciation for the joint efforts and cooperation that contributed to the success of this exercise. The Shura Council strongly condemns the terrorist attack which targeted the security control center on the Abu Hadriya Road in Saudi Arabia. The council affirmed its solidarity with Saudi Arabia and its support for its plans and programs in all the face of all forms of terrorism, violence and extremism threatening the world. The Shura Council also affirms that all acts of terrorism and attempts to destabilize the region will not only stand in the way of Saudi Arabia but in implementing its comprehensive and development strategies which positively affect all countries in the region. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomes the decision of the United States to classify Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist organization. The organization is a dangerous element in spreading violence and terrorism in the Middle East and throughout the world. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reiterates its appreciation for the relentless efforts of the United States in confronting Iran's hostile activities and terrorist practices and its negative interference in the internal affairs of the country of the region. It looks forward to effective and resolute action by the international community to compel the Iranian regime to stop supporting terrorist organizations and militias, to not interfere in the internal affairs of other countries, and to stop all threats to peace and security at the regional and international levels. In the recognition of the importance of international meetings and their role in spreading awareness about culture, the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Amai bint Muhammad Al Khalifa, is participating in the third edition of the Abu Dhabi Culture Summit 2019, held in the UAE capital from the 7th to the 11th of April 2019, in the presence of officials and cultural leaders from around the world, with the participation of over 450 experts and specialists from 90 countries. Sheikh Hamai stated that the UEE has always offered a distinctive model that reflects the world's keenness on culture in its belief that it is the best means to view the world and identify the richness of culture and knowledge. She added that participating in the summit is an opportunity to discuss current cultural topics from a broader perspective.